حياتنا كلها مأساوية يا حبيب قلبي حي... يعني أنا لو منيح وما عندي شيء كنت بشتغل وبساعدهم لأولادي بس باخد دواء و... ومعي كهربا براسي ما بقدر اشتغل يا آدمي والله يا آدمي يعني كتير كتير حلم كبير حلو لي كبير صعب علي ما بقدر اشتغل بحقق الحلم يعني قاعد مش قعدتنا يعني متقعد قاعدين ومتحملين لحد الله يفرج علينا ومسطورين بهالأوضة تاني بنقول الحمد لله بنقول الحمد لله الحمد لله انه انا حلمي انه نكون ببيت كبير كل واحد له غرفه يستحكم فيها ويقعد لحاله وبي يكون عنده انه اوضه له لحاله ما يسكن عشان يروق حاله وما يضل يعصب كثير ياخذ دواء وامي انه ما تشتغل بقى بالشغل هيداك تقعد معنا بالبيت وما يعوزها لحدا يكون بيتنا كبير وانا واختي اوضه واخواتي بي لا يعوز لحدا ويضلوا معنا بالبيت ويكون في عالم منح منح وعم بيساعدونا ويكون بي منيح وكتير مرتاح وأم تكون مرتاحة ونحن نكون مرتاحين Hey guys, um, we've come to the old city of Lebanon. We're going to surprise our adopted family. They don't know that I'm here. They've been calling all day, asking uh, the guys if they're coming to visit. And we've just told them that we're not coming. So they're going to be really surprised when we go to see them. So let's go inside and uh, surprise the family. I told you the reaction. Salam alaikum. Okay, fine. Mashallah. Salam alaikum. Come on inside, guys. We'll see the reaction inside. والله صعبت صعبت كبير يعني عم 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 نعيشها يعني الحمد لله انه يطلع الحمام مع المطبخ انه ما فينا نستحكم بدنا نتحمم بدنا نعمل شيء ما فينا نستحكم بدنا ننام على بعضنا وما فينا هيدا نستحكم مع بعض وهيك يعني اول الشغل يعني عم ننام على بعضنا يعني جوزي بنام وقاعد على الكلباي انا بنام هون يعني عندي ثلاث صبيان بنام على تخت واحد وثلاثه بنام تحت على تخت الثاني والمنطقه بالمره ما منيحه يعني اللي بيمر تحت بكفه بسبسب بينزل ابني مثلا يحكي مع رفيقه بكب عليه مو فوق مي بيجي رفيقه اللي عنده اللي عنده لابنه بيضربوه بطوهو بفوتوه على الارض اللي تحت منا بيضربوه بالارض بيضربوه لا تيجي لعنا على هالمنطقه هون مش منطقتك يعني انا سابكم برا يعني بهلي فيهم أنا ما بكون مبسوطة يعني بقول يا رب افرج علينا يا رب ريحنا بس عم بقعد بصلي بقول يا رب أنت يا أنت الحي أنا 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 قاعد هون بس بس قعدت هون كثير عم بجي صعبات من الجيران ومن هيدا بس ما هو الحكي لأولادي بيضربوا لي أولادي بتقعد لهم بدون شيء أنا بالمنطقة هذيك المرة كانت أختي مرقة صار يقول لها 
صار يقول لي انا رح صير سهرك سكرجي عم 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 يشرب هيك كلها هون بديون كلها كلهم هون الصبح بفيقونا على الاغاني تحت بعيطوا وقت بشوفوا حالهم واحد بقول لك الله بطلع بأوصف واحد كلهم بدايق مبال أكيد بتضايق كتير وأوقات بعض الحال وببكي وما بعرف شو إنه بحس بشعور غريب إنه بشوف أبي عم بتهانا قاعد وعم بفكر شو عم بس نكبر ومصروف ما بيكبر في عالم بيتحرجوا فينا وما بيقوم بدلع يات الله ما يقولوا لنا اياه الكلمه اللي بده يقولوها بضروا بيقولوا ما بيسكتوا انه ما بيطلع فينا بينقهروا لا بيقولوها ما عندهم انه حنيه هيك فانا عشان هيك انه انا انه كثير مبسوطه بس انا عم وصاني وقعد هون وقالنا قلت له بلشنا هون نبكي انا واختي قلنا نتشكر وهيك انه كنا كثير بنشكركم وهيك سو اي كم تو اور ادوبتد فاميليز هاوس اند اي وونت تو شو يو ذي كرنت ليفينج كونديشنز And then what we're going to do is, um, during the course of this journey, we're changing lives and we're making dreams come true. And I want you to follow me on this journey. I want you to see exactly how this family used to live and how they will be living by the time you get to watch, watch this documentary. So come inside and I'll show you. Now you would think that this is the toilet. You would ordinarily consider, assume that this is the toilet. But this is their toilet. This is their kitchen, and this is their shower, all in one. This room, which is, you know, I, I, I could not believe the conditions that this family are having to live in. Imagine having to go to the toilet and then wash the dishes at the same time. Imagine having to go to the toilet and then cook food for your family at the same time. It's just something that we cannot comprehend in the West, but this is how this family are living. And now we're going to go into the living area. Um, of the family, like I said, we bought some pizzas earlier on. They're all tucking away and they're quite shy. Um, so we're going to just do a bit of filming while these guys are eating. It's not the best time to be filmed when you're eating pizza, but uh, this is it. And I want to bring your attention. So this is our lovely family, and uh, you know, ever since I came here, my heart's been attached to them, and they've been phoning every day, say, asking about me and where I am and when I'm coming. And they had no idea that I was flying from the UK to Lebanon today, and we've just surprised them. So they're all a bit shocked that we're actually here, and they. They don't actually know what's happening, you know. Uh, they know something's happening, but they don't know what's happening. And I'm dying to tell them, but I can't. Um, so this is it, and I just want to draw your attention to the ceiling. What really struck me is that um, the, the last place that these guys were staying in, and I came to visit them two years ago, was a place that they very similar to this, but they had to leave because the the, the roof actually caved in on them. But if you look at the the, the top of the the, the roof. This roof has actually caved in, and the only thing that's holding it up is that bucket. And then the only thing that's holding that bucket up is this cabinet here. And you can imagine the whole family is sat underneath this. Any at any given moment that can collapse, any moment that can collapse, and it will fall on the on the beautiful children. We're now going into the bedroom, and when you initially look at this bedroom, it's probably not big enough, you know, for one or two children. Uh, for us in terms of our standards in the West, but here in Lebanon this be bunk bed this bunk bed here six members of this family Sleep here as you can see there's one of the boys that is already sleeping He's in bed, but six children mom and dad have to share this bunk bed and this is everything that they own Everything that they own is just in this one tiny room. And when I came here first a couple of weeks ago, my heart was broken. I could not believe that they were living in such a condition. But it's going to change and wait until the end to see exactly how we've changed the life of this family with your help, with your support, with your donations, and most of all with your prayers. SubhanAllah.
Just seven days ago, we took possession of this apartment. We asked our friends uh, from Iswa to find us an apartment to move a family in that were living in some dire and destitute conditions. Allah, seven days from that day, we, we have transformed this house. Uh, literally within the next hour, we're about to go and find the family and bring them over. They have no idea what's going to happen. Their life is going to be absolutely transformed. So we are um, literally moments away from picking up the family to take them to their new home, to take them out of this neighborhood and into a new neighborhood, into a new life. SubhanAllah, where they're secure, where it's comfortable, where they don't have to worry about the roof caving in, where they don't have to worry about people kidnapping their children or their daughters being sexually assaulted. Um, and the emotions that I'm feeling at the moment is just, I, I can't explain, subhanAllah. As a father, as a, as a brother, you know, I, I know how much it means to me to offer my children security. And the fact that I'm able to do this with your help, with, with Allah's will is, I, you know, I, I, I can't, I literally can't explain my emotions, but I'm super excited. So let's go inside and let's surprise them because they don't know that we're coming. They think that I'm actually in the UK um, and we haven't told them that we're taking them to their new home. So we've just said that we need to take them somewhere um, to show them, show them something. I don't even know what we've told them to be honest, but <sighs> this is it. So. Let's see their reaction. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So, alhamdulillah, you've just seen the reaction of the family, subhanAllah, and it was very much as I expected, it tears of joy and happiness, almost this surreal feeling, thinking that you're dreaming, that you, you know, any minute now you're going to wake up, and this isn't true, but alhamdulillah, with Allah's will, with your donations, with the support of our friends here in Lebanon, this has been, this is, their, their dreams have become a reality. So, we're literally, we've been in the house five minutes, they've had a quick wander around the house, we've showed them the house um, and I just want to ask them, you know, 
uh, how they feel. I think they're all in shock, if I'm honest, um, kind of almost not believing what's happening, but it's it's real. You, you know, like I think it's really important to make this point that whatever has happened here today, from when I came to Lebanon the first time and I visited this family, I had no intention of going to visit a local Lebanese family and finding them and then trying to rehouse them. That wasn't my mission. You know, I was on an aid deployment with, with, with Iswa and we were, we were distributing aid to Syrian refugees, subhanAllah. And I, the team that I was with traveled back to the UK the night before. And I had some envelopes left over from, from donations that people had given. And I said to Buddy that I want to, is there local families that are in need that we can visit? So he said, yes, there is. And I, subhanAllah, just from Allah, I thought of this family that I visited two years ago. And we went to visit them. And I, I recognized them, uh, you know, we went to visit them two years ago. And in fact, they were in a worse state then. Uh, than they were, than they are now. Meaning, in two years, nothing had changed in their situation, subhanAllah. So, the calling for me to go and visit them in their house was, it wasn't something that was directed from myself. It was from Allah, subhanAllah. And that's really important. That's something that they need to, you know, that need to recognize. That their prayers have been answered and Allah sent us as a team to come and make that dua come true. So nothing is possible without his will, subhanAllah. And that, you know, we don't like expect any thanks, uh, but we just, you know, they should really be thanking Allah uh, and Allah alone, subhanAllah. Okay guys, there you have it. It's a wrap, subhanAllah. Thank you for following the journey. Uh, as you've seen, we took a family that least expected at least expected it. We completely transformed their life, subhanAllah, and we made their dreams come true. The reality is we could never have done this without your support. So thank you for supporting me and the team. Please continue to support me. We are actually off to visit three more cases and we're gonna try and make another dream come true. This is the family. That's the cake. We need to eat it. So until next time, Salaam Alaikum.